Okay, let's talk about styles. Styles are absolutely critical to any well-made and design file. This cannot be understated. Use styles rigorously. Use them for character, paragraph, object, table, and cell styles. Employing styles well will contributes to accessibility in foundational ways. And this fairly straightforward layout task contributes to the structural hierarchy and navigation in an ebook by creating headers and pulling them out into the table of contents or the navigation. So, so using styles is actually the best way to level up your ebook. Paragraph styles are used for headers and text. They impact the entire paragraph as implied in the name. Um, paragraph styles are a collection of rules that define the way your text behaves and looks. They contain formatting for both the characters, so font, color, scale, etc., and for the paragraph, indents, alignment, hyphenation, etc. Um, here are all the paragraph styles in this content, and then the character styles are below. Character styles are used f at the phrase, word, or letter, letter level, applying a collection of formatting attributes that differentiates itself from the text around it. So just for that select range of text. Turning to our sample document, let's have a look at what I mean in action. In this files, there are chapter numbers and there are chapter titles. Um, and these can be formatted in a number of ways. In general, following the principle that a well-made HTML file, that is a single chapter of a book, has one top level header, I like to style these two lines in a paragraph style with a character style to differentiate one piece from the other. So this is all in one uh, paragraph return. So the triple click highlights the entire line and it's a style called CT. Um, and, I, I, and this is a little different than the style, than the, the uh, file we worked on in the master pages document just FYI it's been edited just a little bit so I put a shift return so it's literal shift return or soft paragraph or soft line break those are often referred to in a number of ways in between those two pieces and then I style the top piece with a character style called chapter number to differentiate it so that it looks a little bit differently than the chapter title but it's all in one paragraph style so it will come out in one HTML element um, an h1 element so you can have two separate lines um, with two separate paragraph styles so CN and CT um, that that's totally possible but you may run into a little bit of trouble down the road um, when you use paragraph styles to create the table of contents and an ebook navigation because in general you're going to want both the chapter number and the uh, chapter title in your navigation and it's just a little bit easier if they're in one style. I'll talk a little bit more about this part later but for now let's have a look at my proposed solution. So I adapted the chapter number style to a CN character style and then put a word space and a soft line return in between it. That word space is important. If that word space wasn't there in circumstances where that soft line return is gone, assistive technology will read this as chapter one Peter. So chapter one or one and Peter will get morphed into one word um, instead of having a break in between them that that word space would afford. So be cautious of that. Um, and uh, when you make the change, um, let's go down to chapter two and have a quick look to see if I made that change there. I didn't, so let's have a look at what that looks like live. So this is ch c styled as CN and then the shadow is styled as CT. So I'm going to um, style that as chapter number character style, put a word space and then a shift return in there. And now that's turned uh, a funny color because it's not styled properly. So I'm going to style that as CT, the chapter title one. You see that I got my drop back in and now everything is erased. There's a weird sliver here from a leftover page stick, but try not to see that. So there is a word space, a shift return, and then the title, and it's all styled in one paragraph style called CT or chapter style, title, and then the chapter number is additionally styled with a character style. So then that works really nicely. Um, this is um, because I have the style override highlighter turned on I get to see everything that's happening immediately so I talked about that a little bit in an earlier video but I always work with this little button engaged the style over override highlighter um, 
if I, it, it, it highlights where I'm deviating from cleanly applied styles and is extremely important when you're styling content. So that button is available from either the paragraph style or the character style palette. You can see it in both places. So here and here. Um, and is extremely useful. Um, it will save your bacon, I promise. It's extremely useful, especially when inheriting other designers' files. It's a quick and simple way to see how well formatted a document is, that is, how well styles are used.